Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Video Game Details, the series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite games so that you can look really clever in front of your neighbour's pet hamster. In today's episode, we have some making up to do in Far Cry 6, we get a new haircut in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and we perform a not so impressive transformation in Lego Marvel Avengers. As always, if you think you know of a hidden video game detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and leaving a like is super appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So let's begin with the much loved Hitman Blood Money. Having released in 2006, Blood Money is definitely showing its age, with even the 4K version, which was released in 2019, feeling janky when compared to the more modern Hitman games. Now of course, that is to be expected with a game that is so old, but that doesn't mean that Blood Money isn't hiding some really cool details. Take the fire extinguishers for example, something which have appeared in my last three videos which is kind of strange. Anyway, these firefighting tools can be found on certain levels in Blood Money, with the description of them mentioning that they can be used to knock down large obstacles. Now, as you can see, this fire extinguisher is in pretty good shape, but let's see what happens after we use it to knock down a, well, a large obstacle. So the once as new fire extinguisher is now dented and covered in blood. Even the item's description has changed, now simply reading, covered in blood. It's a really cool detail. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. So what really should have been a slam dunk for Rockstar Games has turned into a laughing stock. There were meme compilations galore when the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy remasters released in November, highlighting bugs, glitches and just about everything else that could go wrong with the game. Now of course these games are lacking the usual Rockstar polish probably because Rockstar didn't develop them, it was Grove Street Games. But that doesn't mean that there aren't some cool details to find, with today's focus being on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, this first detail may not actually be considered a detail, but I'm including it here as I can't find a place for it in another video. So the older Grand Theft Auto games were famous for their cheat codes, allowing you to spawn vehicles, weapons, and just about anything else you want out of thin air. Well, a far less practical cheat code that was added with the remasters is the Konami code. If you enter this legendary video game cheat code when playing any of the remasters, this will happen. Watch it, mark -ass mark. So entering up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A on Xbox will cause characters in the game to have big heads. I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't make the remasters any better, but it does make them a little bit funnier. The other detail that I wanted to highlight from San Andreas is actually present in the original version of the game. During the Rider mission, Rider will tell you to get a haircut. Now, what's cool is Ryder will change what he says depending on the price of the haircut you get. Here's what he says after you get a cheap haircut. Tell Big Smoke he needs a cut. Shit, I told you he was crazy. Man, you jacked up. And here's what he says after you get the more expensive haircut. You know something? I take it back. Old Reese still got it cracking. It's a small detail, but still cool nonetheless. Now, in the last episode of this series, we discovered that in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, the Human Torch was able to melt ice if he stood near it. It was then that I asked for more cool details from LEGO games, and as always, you guys didn't disappoint. First up is another detail from LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. In the LEGO version of New York, you can rather expectedly find a LEGO Statue of Liberty. Well, if you approach the statue and wait, this will happen. So the Statue of Liberty will flash you a cheeky wink. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'll let you guys decide how that makes you feel. <laughs> 
The other detail from LEGO Marvel Super Heroes once again involves our friend the Human Torch. Now as you can see, Venom has no problem standing next to Johnny Storm when he's in his human form. However, if you flame on, Venom will do this. So due to his fear of fire, Venom will back away from Johnny when he is engulfed in flames. It's a really nice touch. The other LEGO detail can be found in 2016's LEGO Marvel Avengers. Following the plot of the Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron, plus some of the other MCU films, LEGO Marvel Avengers is one of my favourite LEGO games of all time. A big reason why is the game's massive roster, with over 200 playable characters available to choose from. Now, one of these characters is a man named Lou Ferrigno. Rigno is best known for his role as the Incredible Hulk in the CBS show of the same name. So of course Ferrigno portrayed the Hulk at a time when special effects weren't a practical way to portray the Green Goliath. This is actually reflected in the way that Ferrigno transforms into the Hulk in LEGO Marvel Avengers. For example, here is how the MCU version of the Hulk transforms. <laughs> So he's big and green like his on-screen counterpart. Well, here is how the Lou Ferrigno version transforms. So Lou sprays himself with green paint to turn into the Hulk, and when he turns back into Bruce Banner, Stan Lee appears and washes the green paint off him. It's a really cool detail. So let's once again end a hidden details video with Far Cry 6, with this first detail being pretty unsettling. If you head to Flores Farm, you can find this. So this farm isn't home to cows, sheep or chickens, it instead seems to have been taken over by mannequins, with some of them in very strange positions. Fans of the Far Cry series may recall that a similar location could be found in Far Cry 5, as of yet there doesn't seem to be an explanation for this mannequin invasion. So the final detail for today's video once again involves a fangs for hire. In the last episode of this series we discovered that Chorizo would play dead if you aimed a gun at him. Well, today's animal related detail is even sadder. Boom Boom is almost certainly Boomer, one of the fangs for hire from Far Cry 5. He's a fan favourite, and for good reason, he's a really good boy. Well, here is how you normally pet Boom Boom. Who's a good dog, huh? So, a nice and loving interaction. However, if you throw a baseball at Boom Boom, I know, I'm a monster, and then try to pet him, this will happen instead. Good boy. So instead of the adorable interaction you had before, it's almost like you're apologising for throwing the ball at Boom Boom. Listen, I'm not proud of what I did, but I'm sure Boom Boom forgives me. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. Remember, if you're a fan of Easter eggs, secrets, and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Be sure to follow me on my social media accounts. The links to those are in the description. And be sure to let me know of any hidden details or Easter eggs that you think I may have missed. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.